What's up guys, it's your boy Kazaris, back with another fun little deck profile. New box is out, I'm extremely excited. I went in just because uh, it might not be the most competitive, but I am excited for all the content that I can make with all these cool archetypes. Uh, and today I'm starting with Cyber Angel Star Seraphs. Now, I know I didn't include this in my review, but uh, after after the review, I was, I was dicking around with how I could figure, or how I could search uh, Scepter and Chair. Uh, sovereignty and I remember Drytrons have been abusing Ben 10 in the TCG that's in the new ritual archetype um, and I figured I mean Ben 10 searches a light fairy so it can search scepter or chair um, or any other light fairy in this deck and I did majority of the time you'll have an 80% chance to open one of these pieces um, and then if you're able to ritual summon using Ben 10 uh, you get to search the other piece um, but then the issue becomes now I have a Benton on the field and I don't have three zones open to uh, do my stick chair combo with. But the skill see you later will just bounce whenever I ritual sub into the hand and then I can, am free to do my stick chair combo. Um, so it, it's really nice. Like ideally you'll be able to like you'll open E to 10, Ben 10 in a ritual spell. Uh, you can go tribute Ben 10 to summon E to 10. Standard CA combo, E to 10 search another ritual spell, Ben 10 search a light fairy and then you can see you later back the E to 10 and do your stick chair combo that way um so it, cas were have always been tight on space before so it was kind of a matter of uh what like trying to fit the stick chair combo in here uh just kind of it became hard so i took out all the normal summons like all the senjus um i took out a, a cyber petite angel um i kept one in just because i figure i'm not always going to have stick chair combo and it's nice to be able to have uh Th th this piece being searchable off of Ben 10 to then search a either a machine angel ritual or the Takini. This is basically Manju in the deck. Manju searches a ritual spell or monster, whereas Senju just searches a monster. Um, and this is also level two, so two and six makes uh, Takini with absolute ritual. So I figure if I'm going to play any normal summon that searches uh, rituals, then uh, Cyber Petite is the best one to play. Uh, just playing one though, because majority of the time I want to be doing the stick chair combo. But this is good later turns or if I don't open stick chair. Um, and as I'm also playing four ritual spells. Um, they're searchable. Like you don't need to open them. You can still open stick chair combo um, completely, like uh, like straight, just straight up open that. Um, and uh, ultimately, it's just it, it came down to a matter of space. Like I wanted to have these heralds here and the Lancia uh, because a they're searchable with Ben 10, and b they're good to draw into off of stick chair combo just to have interruptions. Um, because I'd, instead of just playing trap cards, I'd rather play hand traps that are also light fairies uh so they're they can be used to ritual summon um and they have they have synergy with ben 10 and they're just good to draw into all, all, in general uh, just to have interaction on my opponent's turn because if i don't have these in here then all i'm doing with stick chair combo is making an xyz and drawing for ritual combo ritual plays on the following turn which isn't awful but it's just better to have inter like straight up interaction like i'd rather have a, a trap negate a spell negate or a, a prevention of banishing so like if my opponent goes activate invocation, I can just chain Lancia and then just kind of shut off their turn. Um, or if they try to interrupt me, um, like if I went first and then they try to interrupt me, um, I have Herald of Purple Light, Purple Light to stop any trap cards they have. Or you have the Herald of Green Light to negate an invocation or negate a Neos Fusion, um, something like that, or negate a Noble Knight equip spell, um, depending if you know they don't have another one. Um, so it's pretty cool. So uh, Machine Angel Rituals also protects any light by vanishing itself. So Witchcrafters used to use this to protect Madame there, but we can also use it here to protect our Deltaros and stuff like that. Uh, we don't have anything to summon off of this Deltaros just because space is tight and I'd rather just not play the Altair. Um, but the extra deck is just uh, three rank sixes because we can make them with uh, Ben 10 and E to 10 or double Ben 10 or something like that. So those are nice, one of each of the good ones. And then two Deltaros, one Thunder Spark. We just got this as well. Um, this will detach three materials to destroy all the all of the face-up monsters on the field. Uh, really nice when you're just against a, like a field full of blue eyes monsters or something like that, and uh, you can't efficiently deal with them with Deltaros. You can just make Thunder Spark to deal with all of them, something like that. Or this this outs a uh, Lunar Light Saber Dancer as well because it doesn't target. Um, and then finally the Vylon Die Sigma here. This is just a Linkwish like effect. But uh, yeah, uh, and one more thing. I the inter it's a cool interaction. Um, majority of decks won't OTK you. Uh, like Noble Knights can only OTK you if they open like Merlin um, specifically or like Black Wings can OTK you but not many other decks can um, so you have this you can go if you only open Scepter you can go Scepter search chair and then see you later bounce back the Scepter and then on the following turn you have stick chair combo just like that um, or you can just like maybe 
stick search chair and then just do a ritual summon and kind of sit on your ritual uh but yeah so that's another cool interaction we'll see you later so uh, i'm gonna shut up we're gonna grab our coffees we're gonna get clapping some cheeks stick around all right so we're up against a sartorius kumar um probably desperado that is almost always the assumption we are going first um i'd like to go second with this deck just to that fifth card will give us stick chair combo pretty often actually um our hand sucks so we are just going to pass on this uh what can we draw we can draw any ben 10 so three ben 10 we can draw cyber petite angel that's four um we can draw um just a stick would honestly be okay i think uh we do draw the ben 10 that's really nice so now we can go um summon eda 10 by tributing ben 10 now eda 10 will get a ritual spell search and ben 10 will get a ritual monster search or not a ritual any, any uh, light fairy search uh, and i think i'm just going to go for a standard oh crap that was stupid actually hmm trying to think trying to think uh okay so all right so here's the play so i'm gonna go i thought i messed up but this is actually better so i'm gonna go search cyber T petite angel search machine angel ritual normal summon cyber petite angel search dakini we're just doing standard cyber angel plays at the moment um and now i'm going to activate machine angel ritual summon dakini by tributing Ooh. I'm going to tribute Herald of Purple Light and Edaton because I, I can't use Purple Light anyway after I summon this bikini because I don't because Purple Light has to discard another Light Fairy. Um, now Edaton is going to boost Dakini by a thousand to 37 and Dakini effect is going to send this Blast Spider. Um, and now I have the Machine Angel Ritual in the grave to protect against any Desperado destruction. I'm going to attack for 3000 and attack for 37 and that's going to be game. Nice. So I use the purple there because uh, petite and Dakini, a boosted Dakini is exactly 4,000. Th that's like old, old uh, Cyber Angel strats from like 2017. People remember those if you played it back then. Um, but that was that was just pure Cyber Angel nonsense. Uh, that was no, no stick chair there at all. So that was a kind of co a cool example of what Cyber Angels can do on their own. But let's try and get one of what stick chair does for the deck. We're up against a Rex Raptor. Not too shabby. Probably dinos. Maybe playing some rescue rabbit, something or other. We'll see. Um, we open chair. We're going first, so here is our ritual combo. We are going to summon Edaton. Edaton effect will activate. Benten effect will activate. Um, so what can we do? So we're going to add stick to our hand because we already have the chair. And Edaton is going to add Mar. So, okay, so here, here's what we can do. So we can go see you later, bounce our Edaton back, and then we can stick chair combo. Um, and then we can set a Machine Angel Ritual and pop it when we summon Deltaros to A, get an extra draw, and B, get protection in the graveyard. So I think that I think that's what we're going to do. And now we have a Deltaros on the field. Uh, because stick chair comboing now to get Deltaros is guaranteed, whereas on the following turn, he might, might be able to interrupt it. So I'm just going to do this. This is really cool. Activate. See you later. Bounce. Idatin. Summon. Stick. Stick effect. Chainlink 1. Air effect. Chainlink 2. This is how you have to do it with OCG rules. Whereas in the TCG we could go chair. Chainlink 1. Stick. Chainlink 2. Um, but either way it'll it'll resolve. Um, do I want to summon? No. No I don't want to summon the stick. Because we lose out on a draw with this chair. Now, since we summoned chair on the previous chain link, we can go chair that we just searched to draw again. Kind of useless draws. Uh, make sure you set this ritual first. That way, because uh, Del the the stick effect that, it, that is given to Deltaros pops on summon. So Deltaros is going to come out. I'm going to activate stick effect. Pop this machine into ritual and draw. Now we have. He drew into this Lancia. So if he is playing an invoked variant, we have Lancia to stop any banishing. Uh, we also have Machine Angel Ritual to protect our Deltaros. Um, there is a Neos Fusion. This is fine. 
not not the best. Um, yeah, not the greatest. It's all right though. If we could use Lancia on our turn, that would be so much better because we could just Lancia and then safely pop the Neos. Um, that's not what is going to happen. So there's the Palace of the Elemental Lords. Hmm. Gonna be able to search for Malehu here. So we can summon Malehu and flip me face down. Oof. This kind of this really sucks. If we drew into like uh, Herald of the Green Light, that would have been so much better. We could have just negated the um, the Neos fusion. But alas, uh, it's flipping me face down. All fine and dandy. Um, yeah, I guess we protect here just to save ourselves some damage. Be able to get a search with Neos, though. Unfortunate. We are not playing a, a Satella Knight in our deck to summon off a of Deltros, so Deltros does lose a little bit of advantage. Um, but again, so if we if we held the stick to a combo, he would have had Malehu anyway, and we wouldn't have been able. There's the green light. We were one damn draw off of the green light. Uh, I'm gonna activate Scepter. Grab a stick. You can't battle on the wait, right? You can't battle. Um. Yeah, so he can't battle. So I'm gonna chill here. Uh, ooh, oh, that's kind of cool. So since he can't battle, we can go uh, stick chain link one on the final, or we can summon stick and then activate the, the the chair in our hand, and now we have a rank or three material rank four. So that's kind of nice. That's very nice actually. However, he does have a flip. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. We do get a draw, so we could draw up one of our other two ritual spells. Which is nice. Sovereignty is going to activate. Get us a draw. We draw purple light. He's going to Malehu though. If he hits chair, we can s oh no wait, we don't we don't have any uh two material rank fours, never mind. Um, he does hit chair though. Um, uh, gonna go to battle phase attack for a thousand. I'm not giving up quite yet because we can still draw. We still have a spell negate and a trap negate, so we can draw any of our rituals, and then Dakini can maybe get in there with a Edithin boost. So I'm not surrendering quite yet. He has magicalized fusion. And a chain Lancia. He cannot banish. Very nice. Prevents Dark Cavalry from coming out. Because he would just banish uh, Dark Hex as the magi the Dark Magician and then any warrior. So we're going to chain the Cavalry. Stop that from coming out. Very nice. Um, he does have three monsters. So there's 1200 to the face. There's 500 to the face. And there is an attack over our chair. And we do have potential to get a tribute play, so we shall see. Or a ritual summon. There's a bent. Nope, we lose. That's alright. That's unfortunate. Um, not quite enough. It happens. The deck does... I mean, the deck can... It, 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 it's okay. It can hold up decently against the meta, but... Anyway, let's do another one. Alright, we are up against a Jaden Yuki. We are going... First, again, not the greatest. I, I do like going second. That extra draw does help, and we get a battle phase. Um, but our hand is nice. We got a bunch of Cyber Angel nonsense here. So we can go Petite Angel. Grab Edithin. This was, again, this is why I like having the one Petite Angel. Came in handy last game. Comes in handy this game because we didn't open stick chair combo. So we can just still do uh, normal, cyber, normal, normal Cyber Angel stuff. Um, we're gonna go E to 10 and Ben 10. Ben 10 is gonna add stick and E to 10 is going to add mar. Um, now I can see you later back the Cyber Petite Angel um, because that'll give us ritual plays again on the following turn. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm gonna do that. 
because then we can so if the so if the Edithin doesn't get answered if, they, if we can't like beat over it or kill it or anything then we can go petite search uh, Ben 10 and now we have um, machine angel ritual tribute petite and Ben 10 for Dakini um, Dakini effect will activate and Ben 10 effect will activate and get us a chair as well so that's really nice so then we'll have stick chair combo off of these Ben 10 searches and uh, and if we don't get through his field with our cyber angel stuff then we have the stick chair plays to follow them up with he's going to fire king island makes sense it's going to pop yaksha going to add arvada mm. Who's activating Yaksha? Interesting. Popping Barong. Okay. Normal summoning Arvata. And on the following turn, I'll get a Barong search for probably Garunix. Uh, we drew another ritual spell. That's kind of nice. Adding. There's the Garunix. Okay. So. Now what can we do? We can go. Hmm. Alright, so I want to bait this Arvada effect because then I want to be able to summon Dakini and send this to the graveyard to prevent him from summoning anything back. So what do I want to do here? I think I want... Oh, there it is. Okay, so I can go Petite, or Cyber Petite Angel. We drew this a Absolute, which is really nice. We can shuffle back Ben 10 from Grave. I'll probably negate with Arvada. Yep, there it is. Because we didn't reveal that we already have Dakini. And now we can go... Uh, Machine Angel Absolute Ritual. Shuffle back this. Shuffle back there. Tribute the Petite. Shuffle back the Ben 10. Summon Ban Kini. The Kini effect will activate and send um so we would should have also played around veil or a hand trap there so if we were playing around veil we would attack with Edithen first that way when he summons the veil we can then attack over it with the kini um and he doesn't get to keep the level four monster so we had, would attack with a lower attack one there first but he was just going to scoop it up all right we're up against an axel brody we're going second Our hand, we open stick chair with a spell negate. It's very nice. Um, if that was purple light, Herald of Purple Light, and we had a trap negate, we could uh, easily push through any back row and get our stick chair combo off, which would have been nice. So he's gonna, uh, so it is Star Seraph, so, so he has Scout. This is basically Tin Goldfish. It summons any Star Seraph from your hand. And he's going to chain Kage to Kage. So he's gonna go Scout. Summon Kage to Kage. Summon probably a uh, chair or stick. Ideally it's chair so he doesn't get as much advantage. Nope. Neither. It's another scout. Okay. He's going to triple Xyz, I guess? I don't know. This seems pretty lackluster. I mean, if this is his only play and we're going second, that means we get our combo off and we get to pop something. Because we opened stick chair and he opened neither. So we are looking mighty fine right now. Making Utopia pass. Pretty nice. Wait, can he overlay for Ray? No, he can't. Okay. So we are going to go. There's a Lancia. So we're going to normal summon our stick. Chainlink one stick. Chainlink two chair. He has no response. I don't think. Nope. Nothing. Chair will draw, and he's going to scoop. So, I mean, there, there's. I mean, if you cannot stop stick chair, you're just. I am drawing three cards and popping two of yours, so it's just disgusting. There's so much advantage, so powerful. The only problem is it's not quite as consistent as I would like it to be, but like the power trade-off for the consistency trade-off is, it's there, so it, and it definitely performs well. So let's do another one. All right, so we are up against the Sartorius Kumar. Desperado. Going, yeah, yeah, give me second, nice. Second is so nice. Especially for Cyber Angels, man. It's always been nice for Cyber Angels. 
That extra card really makes a difference. We open two hand traps. Uh, not the greatest. We get access to Ben 10 here, then the hand becomes pretty solid. He's just gonna set two passes. Probably Karma Cut Super Buddy. Super Buddy. Um, hand sucks. All right, we're passing. We don't have Ben 10. We don't have a ritual play or any of our stick chair pieces, so our hand is pretty poopy. Um, his hand looks pretty bad as well. He draws the second Machina Fortress, though. So we're going to take 25 to the face. And if he has Super Buddy, we're taking 5,000 to the face. So, Super Buddy, show me it. No, interesting. Okay, so it's probably a double Karma Cut then. Which really sucks. There is the Ben 10, though. So we are going to go... Sheen Angel Ritual Special Summon Eat It Then by tributing Ben Then. I mean, we can negate any spell card with this Herald, which is kind of cool. Um, it is our turn, though, so we don't have Lancia to stop Karma Cut. Uh, Eat It Then, Chain Ben Ten. Yep, now there's a delay, so it's definitely Karma Cut phase down because Desperado only plays Super Buddy, Karma Cut, and also Head Judging. Could be Head, or Fiend Comedian, or Head Judging, I guess it could be as well. Um, we are going to add, um, hmm. Guess I can just add stick, right? Yeah, I can just add stick. That's kind of cool. I'll add a machine angel absolute ritual. I can normal summon stick, stick effect, grab chair, and then see you later back back the stick. And uh and then he'll beat over my E to 10, which is absolutely fine. And then I can just stick chair combo. Pretty nice. So I mean we started with a bad hand, but we quickly built up plays. Bounce back the stick. And now I am chilling. We can negate a cup of ace, which is which will be pretty crucial. We can discard our Lancia, because Lancia is dead against this matchup. He's not going to do anything. He does have he does have Karma Cut. If he just decides to banish the Eat with Karma Cut, we're gonna have to stop that. Um he does not top deck Cup of Ace, so that's nice. He's going to battle phase. Declaring battle, nothing on no. Do not use Machine Angel Absolute. I don't care about that either. Um, all right, so here we go. Stick chair combo. There's Petite. Let's see what we can do. Stick, chain link one. Chair, chain link two. Hmm. This will resolve. I will at least get a draw off of chair. Get a search off of stick. Summon the chair in our hand. Draw one card. Oh, there's purple light. There it is. That's why we play it because it's just such it's so great to draw into. Uh, so what happens if we target? If this card is targeted before resolving the opponent's monster look at your opponent's hand and discard one card from their hand okay um hmm so i want to summon delthros all right now because of delthros's claws i said this earlier that um while it has xc's material your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when you normal or special summon monsters so when we summon Deltoros, our opponent cannot activate anything. And because Scepter's effect that is given to Deltoros activates on summon, he cannot respond to this destruction effect. So we're going to destroy and draw. Uh, we have eight cards in our hand. Nothing to use them with because we didn't draw any extra ritual monsters, unfortunately. Um, we're going to activate this uh, Deltoros. Um, we'll pop the Fortress, but Fortress effect and look at the card in our hand and discard it. He's probably going to discard the Purple Herald, but that's fine at this point. Um, because he wasn't... Oh, he's going to discard Lancia. What a dummy. What a dummy head. Alright, so we're going to go set one so that we don't have to discard anything. Go to Battle Phase. Smack for 25. Drowning Mirror Force. No, thank you. Discard these excess stick. I don't care about it. 
It's going to take 25 to the face now. Right? Please take 25 to the face. Right, there we go. Easy enough. Now we have Deltaurus to pop on the following turn. We have Cyber Petite Angel to grab Dakini. We have Dakini play on the following turn. That's really nice. Um. So now we can go... Oh, there's E to 10. We go... Deltos effect. We know that's Super Buddy on the left. Um, he didn't activate the middle card last turn, so I'm going to pop the one on the right because this is the one that's most threatening right now. Um, there is Head Judging. Oof. Can we call it right? Face up. Fuck. Just take him on Dan Deltos. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. So now I can, This is once per turn, right? Oh, no. It's not once per turn. Fuck. But he's not going to activate anything there. Um, this is a when effect. So if we go Dakini chain link one, um, Edison chain link two, he cannot use, activate that, I don't think. So we can go Machine Angel Absolute, tributing, uh, nope, not that, summoning Dakini, tributing Edison in hand, shuffle back the Herald and the Grave. That's kind of cool. And now we have that for following turns, making other trap cards. So now we're going to go Dakini chain link 1, E to 10 chain link 2, and he cannot activate head judging on the field. I don't think so. Yep. Now I'll send my Deltaros to the grave. And we'll battle. Do we have it? Is this game? 3700. To the face. He cannot super buddy. Is that something? Oh, there's a temperance. Alright, so. That's fine. I'll find a dandy. I don't think he can kill me. Do we have Mar in the grave? We still have Mar in the grave. Wait, what? Oh. That's kind of cool. He has temperance. Holy shit. And I lose. Because he would just attack over me last turn. That's... Wow, what an end. He had to specifically have temperance. Holy shit. Oh, that's crazy. God damn it. Because we kept the Petite on the field, we lost. I didn't even think about that. He can super buddy back Temperance by targeting my Light Fairies. So if I didn't shuffle back that Herald and tribute to the Petite on the field instead... I mean, we could have just pierced with Dakini. Huh. I don't know. I mean, it depends what the middle card was. I didn't know. It depended what he drew. I mean, we could have had that one still. Oh, well. Um, I hate ending on a loss, but that's going to do it, guys. It was still a great game. We still played pretty well. We started with a shitty hand anyway. And uh, but yeah, that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. The deck is very fun. I encourage you all to try it. Um, it's a very cool way to work around the stick chair engine. Search them with Ben 10. Do all your Cyber Angel plays. Um, yeah, it's a very nice engine. I, I love the engine so much and I can't wait to splash them in a ton of decks. Um, right now they're being splashed in Dark Magicians as well. Uh, just to draw your, uh, stick or your circle nav combo more often, I guess. Uh, people are playing that instead. Uh, works in Dark Lords as well. It can be, it works in Satellar Knights. Although I'm not sure that's the best way to play it. Pure Satellar Knights might be better. You can play Stick's Chair on its own, but, uh, Great engine, guys. If you have the money um, and you're interested, I, I, I encourage you to invest in it because it is a very solid engine, very fun, and could uh, see meta or meta play in the future. So, thanks for all. Thanks all for watching. I will catch you in the next one, which will, which will be out soon. So, peace.